Hello everyone, I'm Jake from West Coast Sailing and we're bringing this fantastic new boat from RS, the RS-21. First thing you realize when you first step into this boat is just how big the cockpit is. For, for comparable boats of its size, there's nothing that has quite the cockpit space. One of the most noticeable features is the built-in electric drive. It's very, very simple to use. There's a line with a purchase on a cleat, you just drop it down, make sure the kill key is on the unit, and push the boat in gear, and off it goes. Once you're done, just pull the kill key up, and then pull up, and the motor sits dead flush with the bottom of the, with the hull, so there's no added drag. One of the other interesting features about this boat is this, this central post here, which houses the drive. It offers two main sheeting positions, so the driver has the ability to trim comfortably, or the person who's sitting in front of the driver can trim as well. The center traveler bar takes away of the traditional on a track traveler, makes main sheeting a lot simpler. Uh, when the breezes comes up, it's very much just pull the vang to the setting that you want for the sail shape that you're after and play the main sheet. No more is it balancing the main sheet and traveler position. This keeps the boom pretty much on center line. The big cockpit moving forward, we have the backstay on the front end of this uh, pedestal. Everything in the forward section here is very easy to get to. There's nothing that runs below deck. We have uh, the jib sheets are on a two to one purchase ahead. The Vang in the middle here in the Cunningham right up on top of the spinnaker bag. All the spinnaker systems are run on the onboard sides, the tack line and the pole launch and then the, the halyard coming out of the mast. The boat is extremely comfortable with four people to race. Uh, the hiking pads get your weight pretty far out while still being comfortable. It's all legs and hiking. You don't have to lean over the side remembering what you had for breakfast or lunch. The big spinnaker bag here in the large working area without the doghouse makes ha sail handling extremely easy. On the pole above deck, all the launching lines are above deck, so if you do have an issue, it's really easy to just get to and you can generally see it right off the bat. Coming up to the mast, manufactured by Selden, is a carbon fiber mast with an aluminum boom. Uh, the mast weighs about 45 pounds and is really easily steppable with two people. Very easy to put, take up and down for trailer sailing. It rigs up in about an hour from pulling up to the parking lot, stepping the rig and getting the boat in the water. Inside the hatch here is the uh, battery access and access to the inside of the boat. The only real reason you need to come in and out of here is to take the battery in and out. There's no rigging or anything in down below, but the access down below will fit all of the sails and fittings for the boat. We hope you liked our walkthrough of the RS-21. If you'd like to see more videos, go ahead and leave us a comment and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram.